In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to export models in Roblox Studio. So this is very easy to do, and the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Roblox Studio and open up your experience how you're looking to export models from. So once you're logged in, the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got your Explorer window open, which is this tab here on the right. And to do this, all you want to do if this isn't open is come up to the top and you've got some options. And the one you want to click on is view. And then if you look to the far left, you've got the Explorer option. So just go ahead and give that a click to open up the Explorer tab. So once that's open, all you want to do is select any of the objects in your world which you want to export. So in this example, I'm just going to select this bench here, this table. And you'll see once I've selected that, that this is actually highlighted in the Explorer menu on the right hand side. So what we want to do first is make sure this is fully selected because if I click on the drop down box, you can see there's separate parts that we can export. So you want to make sure you click on the actual four objects so it's all highlighted in the world. Once that's done, come across to the Explorer tab and right click on the object you want to export. And then just go ahead and click on to export selection. Next, choose where you want to export the model to. So for this example, I'm just going to go for uh, desktop. And then you want to name your model. So I'm just going to call this one table. Once that's done, just go ahead and click save. And what it's going to do is save it to wherever you chose to export the model to. So I hope this video helped you out today. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video. And make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for the latest tips, tutorials, and tricks for everything tech and digital related. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.